Yeah, the, the fork's topping out like crazy through that stuff. So I must have to take this thing apart again and see what's going on. What's going on? Huh? What's going on? Oh, my forks are topping out. They're metal to metal, clank, clank, through the whoops. I think in what you're maybe hearing is the top out spring oh. is working, but the, there's... So I should do a preload, the... like you said, put a preload spacer yeah. in there. We'll try the regular spring because I think you're not feeling it that top out so much as that spring floating in there with no preload on it. Yeah. Know what I mean? Okay. Oh, it's free. It's it's uh, free airing. The spring is free airing when the pro the the forks yeah. extend. Yeah. There's no preload. But I can feel it clunk, clunk. Yeah. Because you know that dampener rod that you yeah. put in the cartridge. Yep. That has that spring on it. Yep. That's what keeps it from giving you a yeah. harsh, you know, top yep. out. Yeah. But when yeah. the spring is loose in there with no preload, you kind of hear that thing kind of. Okay. There, you know what I mean. Walking around. How come it didn't yeah. do? How come it didn't do that before though? Yeah, but the springs might have been. Oh, use the same spring. Yeah. Oh, that was. I don't know then. Yeah. Cause you just that valve is what goes on to where that spring is. So you yeah, put but the it spring. Doesn't change the. No, nothing should change. No. It's no different. No. One of my bikes was doing that and it was almost out of fork oil. Oh. It's just like, I, I took him in, I actually had Felix do it for me. Huh. And uh, he was like, dude, they're like a quarter of the oil that should be in there. So they were doing the same thing, like you'd go over a whoop and you'd hear them top out, they'd go like clunk, like when they'd extend all the way. That's what it's doing. Exact same thing. You know, I bet you that's what I got to do with these. So I checked the fork oil level for sure. Hey, you don't see anything. Leaking, right? I didn't oil. see anything leaking out of mine ever either. Oh, yeah, it's weird, so just, dude. And you I them. always check that. If huh? careful you filled them. Tie downs yep. Like, I, I, up to 120 millimeters. I, I never saw it. Well, you put it. Which is uh, higher than I had them before. So, I mean, lower. The love, the smaller, more oil than I had before. What did you have them at before? Probably like four and a half inches. Well, I mean, I do most, I do everything I can. Because I didn't. I was running them like I, because I didn't know when I did the forks, when I did the service them, and I just kind of went to what I was doing on my 200. And actually, my 200, I think I had a five inch gap in that. 
So you know, when trying to remember though. I, I reassemble these things. I make sure I assemble them the cartridge with the spring and the cap, so you can measure the, the free length on the spring, and then you can measure it after you. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, I've not, I haven't done that. Okay. Might be a, a gap in there. It could be. I'm tired. I want to get back. <laughs> it's, I don't think it's that far, right? No. I'm going to go. Try Alan's bike. Hey, I want to let you ride my bike back and see what you would do to, to fix the suspension. You go ahead of me because I'm going to uh, wait till the dust clears. Okay. Got it? I got it. <laughs>
foot. I definitely heard the clunk, top clunk. out. So something you gotta take them apart. Something's going on in there. Okay. Um for the rear, I probably would go back to where it was rebound and add a couple clicks compression. Okay. Which slow speed? No, uh yeah, slow speed. Yeah. Yeah, don't touch high speed. Yours is way stiffer than mine yes. too. Yes. Yours is way plusher. So but if the conditions were good and you blasted that stuff harder, I'd like to compare them then because yours feels great. The front end feels great. Feels but pretty good. Yeah. I think mine when I charge gives me more comp gives me confidence. Yes, yeah. it's that's the first thing I noticed. I go, oh dude, his is plush. It's got a plushness to yeah. it. It may be a little too much on the plush side compared to this yeah, one. Well, yes, compared to this, like I automatically would go for me. Yeah. But only if conditions are great. Like today, I would probably wouldn't have touched anything. I probably would have did the compression and put the rebound back to where it was. I probably would have done that change to see how that felt. Because the, the rear end feels like it's got, it gets a lot of movement. We're kind of wallowy. It's not too or, much wallowy, but yeah. I just feel it like. Even over little stuff, I feel it going, you know what okay. I mean? Yeah. And I think for me, when I think about, oh, if I was to pick up speed. Need quicker rebound? If I was to ride it with more, it might be too soft. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, for sure. But the plushness, I, I go immediately, I go, oh, dude, this is plusher than mine over the rocks. But I set mine up a little, it, it's definitely softer than my other stuff. But for me, when if I want to wick it up, it, it feels still feels like I got really good hold up, you know what I mean? Yeah, you and can still, you can totally attack the rough stuff. You with can this. attack it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right on. Is it two o'clock already? <laughs> Is it? Is that the right time? For, yeah. Holy. Probably. <laughs> yeah, but the uh, the plus is gone in the rocks. I bet that thing's money going through the rocks. Yeah, it is. So there, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. But, and it's still overall, it's better than it was, so. Yeah. But, uh. Oh, yeah, the front end feels, the fr the rear end feels good, too. It just feels like I would bump up the, I would put the rebound back where it was and then add a couple um, clicks of comp low speed compression. Plus, I only adjusted the sag to what the spec is for the bike static sag. I haven't set it for me because I didn't have anyone to help me. Oh, you mean you did a free sag? Yeah. Yeah. How much are you running on free set? Inch and a quarter. Okay. 35. The, the bike only. 30 something. Says, the manual said or inch and 1.3 or something like that. Or, yeah, or you're, the right, you're the right weight for this for that stock spring right. Okay. So you're going to be in So the same with the fork spring? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm tired. Hey, how about the motor? Yeah, it feels good. Did it seem normal? Yeah. Good. Kind of 
not ideal area to test something, I guess. But the conditions are shitty. Yeah. Because so. the bike, like when the conditions get good, it'll feel completely different. Yeah. Because you're honestly, like in that stuff, your speeds will be way higher than that. Yeah. Just because I'll be able to be on the gas more. Yes. Here I'm yeah. short shifting, getting in yeah. third and fourth, and just blah, yeah. letting the suspension move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But definite stiffness difference, like obvious. Like the, mine are a little stiffer. Yeah. Sure. Yours had a really good flushness that was probably so good in the rocks. I'd like something kind of in between, maybe. Yeah. I like this, like, I have no complaints about mine. Yes, it, when I hop on a bike that's a little plushy, you go, oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> but then, you, but know, you can't go fast on it. Well, you can, but it, it, it kind of gives them maybe a little wallowy or mm -hmm. doesn't hold up as much. Yeah. And it's like, so in those, you go, oh, I don't know. So that's the whole thing. Like, I could ride this like this, and for all the stuff we hit, even in the rocks, it's fine. It, it's all that stuff fine. Could it be better? You're not using all your travel on that, yeah. but we're not hitting any big G outs yeah. or anything. Yeah. And, and I, I didn't either on here. I'm like this far from. Yeah. From yeah I don't it. think I hit anything. Although when I was out there on my own, there was a couple sections where I was wicked it up a little bit. I was like, ooh, it's pretty good in here. Like, if you don't have to. Like Rich knew him when Rich knew him when he was, you know, when Rich was. Rich, what's his last name? Flashiana. He lives up in Meadow Vista. There's but, another um, Rich that's older. He just quit riding his dirt bike. He got a yeah. KTM 300. He's riding with this group. I can't yeah, remember his last name. I would. I, it'd be tough for me to give up riding. I love it so much. It's all I think about, man. Especially I'm going up there. <laughs> I'll get divorced over this, rocks, dude. I'm like, oh my God. This is great. I kept looking. Oh, more rocks. Oh, cool. Oh, more rocks. And then when I, there was a section right after where there was no more rocks. I'm like, oh, man. No more rocks. <laughs> it started turning into the weeds again. I'm like, Man. yeah. That was a cool little section. So where are we? This? I think this is still six, right? Okay. Yeah. They're gonna be a minute. You think so? Oh yeah, that one turn. Oh. And where that tree's at? Yeah, it's. Yeah, that would. Yeah. That's kind of. If I, I hope they go. Well, hey, you should have cool. stayed down there to show them how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking triple your bike in the air. <laughs> that thing was somersaulted. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, dude. Oh yeah. It's like, I'm sure Doug got it on video. That thing I hope I do. A yeah, tree, tree was kind of in the way, but I, the bike came flipping back out onto the trail. I was like, oh yeah. shit. I had a, a grip of it and it was spinning around in circles with the gas going. You should have seen the dust, man. Oh, the gas oh, so it was so powery right there. It's so powery right there. And Daddy like, sorry about that. Sorry yeah. about the dust. <laughs> I try to give it one good go up straight ahead, but yeah. that was the worst line to take. I squared myself a little bit, and I was able to short legs. I was able to get a little bit, a little bit more momentum. I would have made it. But. I didn't commit when it was first try. I, yeah, I yeah. fucking got scared because I already knew it was going to be loose. When you're coming back from the other way, it was so obvious to look at the line. You go. Oh shit, you just burp, right? But it's hard to see it when around right that here, tree coming this way. Yeah. Because you did the right thing. Tight right into it and then burp right Yeah, I made it. tight and then I backed up and made, gave my, made myself a little yeah. run that is right. Can't imagine going down on that one, huh? Too? It's Probably nasty yeah, coming down that one? No, it's oh, easier. Not bad, yeah. not bad. I don't remember that being a problem oh, when I went the other way a couple but weeks ago. Me, just because of the momentum. So which way is this? Is this clockwise or counterclockwise we're going? Clockwise. Clockwise? clockwise? It's harder. So is where's, it, the, where's, the, where's the entrance? For it's way harder. Only for a quarter mile. <laughs> yeah. Half mile. <laughs> enough enough to beat the left, huh? for counterclockwise? Enough to make me want to go the other way. <laughs> <laughs> it was only for a quarter mile. Half mile. Maybe, maybe half mile. <laughs> yeah. Just that, the rock stuff. That bike looks no, so light. 350? 450. 450? Looks, it, it, it looks like it's light. Yeah, but this 450 isn't like a motocross 450. It doesn't it's, feel like it. It doesn't, it doesn't even look it's, like it's uh, like heavy. It's the Enduro model. It's so, pretty light. Yeah, so it's oh, it's, it's, and the motor is separate. so, like, through that stuff, just as good as my 300. It doesn't even sound gear. like you're pressing the gas. No, it's... It sounds like you're lugging through. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't even I'm ready for the four minutes. <laughs> no. For a minute, I thought it was a two-stroke. You can't ride like that. Yeah. You know, like, I, I don't anyway. 
I can't ride a 450 like that. In fact, I never, I have a 350. I thought the 350 was going to be what I wanted. Wait, have you broke not. these yet? No. I just broke mine like Did you? a month ago. Yeah. Not fun. No. It's not right here. I had a buddy that snapped it and he, um, he used some epoxy well. Oh, no. When yeah, he found oh, out no. how much they were, he goes, oh, They're two pieces, yeah. though. Yeah, just a couple pieces. Yeah, yeah they bolt together, right? Look at my tire, yeah. man. It's horrible. I, I don't hear one grip. Nothing. Look at that. It's perfect. <laughs> you got more rubber, rubber on the ground. I, 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 oh, the VX40. Yeah, I, so it's not even... I would have liked the, the V33S, maybe? That's what I have. And I got a soft... So it's gripping oh, everywhere. Soft like, 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 you can just crawl up. Like, yeah. Have you guys used the Shinko? No, I haven't used Shinko. But I like that's honestly my overall favorite tire, the V33S. Because it's good. It's enough. overall does everything yeah. fairly, you know, real yeah. good. I think the more you get to really soft, gummy stuff, they, they the sidewalls are so they roll a little. At bit, speed, like, they roll. Yeah. Yeah. That, and when you pick up speeds, then it's like. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Or this is good. Like this will roll too, but it's control. Like you. You get used to it right away. Yeah. You know? You start looking back like you have a flat tire or something like that. <laughs> my buddy Rich, who's a really good rider. I mean, he won the District 36 Championship A senior back to back to back three years in a row. And Jeez. Killed him. He's fast. Killed him, huh? So we started riding together, and he's still using Dunlops. And I, you know me, I go for the rocks too. I like the rocks. <laughs> And I'm gripping everywhere because I'm running like when I have tubes, I'm running like seven pounds. Yep. And he's spinning everywhere. He's like, it he, was like two years ago. Like, he doesn't know about lowering the air pressure. How, how are you getting through that stuff and gripping in there? I go, well, what tire you got? And he goes, he told me. I go, how much air pressure? I go, well. Like 12 psi. Yeah. I go, Dude, you're never going to get through there clean with that. It's going to be painful. For you. Yeah. Yep. And so he rode one in a, he, he, the problem is he tried that tire in a race. And I go, listen, that might not be a good race tire. I said, but everywhere else, it's good. Um, I said, you just have to know it going into it, what kind of tire it is. And then, so after the race, he tried it again. He rode on it. Now that's all the only tire he used. That's all he used. Yeah, he opened it. <laughs> it's a great tire. For its purpose. Good grip, man. It's got, especially in that rock. It's got great So what area did you come from? These guys are an animal. Yeah, it's just in Carnegie. These guys are like. Would you love Tracy too? Yeah. Yeah, Carnegie. Carnegie yeah. I, I broke my neck there. I broke my back. Yeah, I broke my neck. 2020, I broke my neck. Yeah, these guys. How'd you break yours? They're like gold trail. Freak there. accident. Like Don hit that tree branch today and grabbed him. Yeah. I was doing this trail I've done. It's this off camber steep trail, but we're riding off camber. Oh, tree yeah, branch. Just yeah, they pushed branch. Push me right off the trail. Yeah, I crashed. Oh, oh man. It like big, jousted like, me off my, my bike. bike. <laughs> but it also threw me down the ravine. They started rolling? No. So I was still on the bike, so, but oh, I didn't have my hand. No, if I should sit down, I won't be able to get moving. So yeah, if I do that, I was going really fast. I broke my stance. I started breaking it. I already ordered it. About halfway down. I mean, you couldn't see it. It was steep. It was in the grass Right area. into a ravine? There was a little cutout, and my front tire was breaking so hard that I hit it. It instantly just threw me over the bars. And so when it launched me down, it launched me far, but the angle I hit, I knew immediately I did something to my back. When I got to the bottom, because the wind was completely knocked out of me. And I immediately uh, stood up. And, were you riding with anybody? Yeah, luckily. And I was. this guy was behind me was screaming, don't move, don't move. By that time, I was already... Up and crawling around, around trying yeah. to figure so it I was out. Walking uh -huh. around and trying to catch my breath, you know, because it knocked the wind out of me. Like, I couldn't breathe. Yeah, I couldn't breathe. So I was just being calm, like trying to catch my breath, and I was walking. By the time he got down to me, <coughs> he goes, "Oh my god!" He goes, "Are you all right?" And I go, "Yeah." I said, "I think I did something to my back, but ultimately, I said I'm good." And I got on my bike and rode it out. You're right. And went back <laughs> to the truck. Got home. By the time I got home, though, I, I couldn't hardly get out of there. Mm. And then I unloaded my bike, and I told my wife, man, my back sore. So I got into a hot bath, and I felt like, oh, I'm good. And then after I got all that hot bath, it came back. I was stiff again, but I didn't go to the doctor for like four or five days. Man. I knew I was sore, but then on like the fourth You're day. Waiting. You're the, like me. You're waiting yeah, to see. Exactly. <laughs> like, 
Listen, I don't need to go unless I need to go. And the fourth day... I hate going, so... Yeah, the fourth day I pissed blood That's back. Oh, on my, my God. My you gotta heal when you're like that. No, so it Wait, bruised my kidneys, oh, and I, I fractured my T7 and T11. And they were saying that... <clears throat> the lady goes, man, we might have to do surgery on this T11 because it took a chip out of it. Listen, I said, I don't want any surgery. I said, don't take a tent, so I'm going to maybe talk to another guy, talk to somebody else, get a second opinion. Yeah. And so I talked to another guy, and he goes, it's a pretty bad break, he goes, but if you let it heal, and it stay right there, it's amazing how it can heal. heal that ball, that ball that ball. Ball. Yeah. So, but, you know, like, literally, I think dirt bike people in general, high tolerance for pain. Because uh, you're we all you're crash. chasing an adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, and we all crash. Yeah. And we all do. So we have a high tolerance for pain. And so I started feeling good. Like The guy told me, he goes, don't do anything for two months. <laughs> and like six weeks One ago, month. I told my wife, damn, I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel goes, good, that's what she said. She goes, don't go riding. I said, I won't go riding. Hard. I said, I just want to get on the bike. Just a little bit. Get back on the bike. And then at dawn, I went on the bike. I got home, I couldn't. My back was killing me. Oh, shit. That I didn't do anything. Didn't ride hard. Yeah. Just rode. It wasn't ready yet. That, yeah. It wasn't ready yet. Yeah. So I go, okay. I built with a similar yeah. situation. Yeah. And then, so I just said, I'm not doing anything for another month. I waited another month, and it was fine. That's fine. Yeah. Danny right. has a crazy one he, when he broke his neck. Uh, yeah, I kind of did what you did. I was, uh, I was doing hill climbs, and then I came back down the hill. At though. Carnegie. Yeah. I was doing the hill climbs. It was in the middle. It's nothing gnarly. Yeah, it's yeah. just. I was on a Chinese bike too when I first started, it's like a like a 200cc Chinese bike, and I came down the hill, and the bike cut off because of the altitude. Chinese just was not a good thing up there. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Why does it stay running? Like 99 percent Chinese. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you think about that? Anything 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 about do this, especially now after the last rain. Ditch. When was this? Uh, 2020. Okay. This because before. after that last rain, as dawn, dude, there's... Yeah, I, I went to about a six foot... There's ravines out there now. Yeah, I went to about a six Can foot you? ditch and scorpion. Ooh. Oh. But then when I stood you up... You somebody with you? Yeah, but when I stood up, I could only be... I could only stand up about like this. I was like, oh, yeah, I can't even... So I hopped on the bike, rode out, went to Sacramento, went to the hospital. And oh. Where to Sacramento? From there to Sacramento, driving like that? They said I broke my C7 mm. vertebrae. Oh, so that's where all your nerves go through yeah. your vertebrae. See, that's the thing, man. You're like not even centimeters away from being paralyzed. Oh, yeah, centimeters. Centimeters. Yeah, he said I was like very how lucky. you hit, everything played a role in how lucky. Same with me, like I was telling Don. Because my the guy told me, why didn't you... Jump off that bike. I said, you Could it? I got done. I had no I chance. Bike. I was at Mach 2 by the time I got my hand back on the handlebar. And then it's he, goes, right he, it goes, now. he goes, He goes, you're, you're so lucky because if you'd have made it to the bottom, you'd have killed yourself. And he's right because it beat out at the bottom where there was no, there was no transition for me to, it would have been straight, straight to a hill. Uh -huh. And I would have probably been fucked up. So, it, same thing like it ha something happened. To throw me off, yes, I broke my back, but I think I got... And that's the first time I've like really been injured riding. Best case scenario. And I've never broke a bone. Or nothing, I really. Wow. So for a long time, for about a month or two, I had pain all the way through my arm. Mm -hmm. Nerve damage. Nerve stuff. Yeah, so I, like, I couldn't hold anything. My hands would shake. And then it started to go down my back, all the way down my leg. Oh, like sciatic. Yeah, it was a sciatic nerve type of uh. deal. So then I was, uh, I went road just like how you did with a neck brace on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> neck brace on. With the FMS sticker right so here. So I'm huh? like, <laughs> I, I got a Chinese dirt bike CRF 450 and a KFX 400. I'm like, I'm going to just go ride the quad. Yeah. You know, I'm just sitting down riding. It made it worse, like you said. Yeah. Made it like way worse. Way worse. <laughs> so it took like maybe four months for me to fully heal. <laughs> Hey, Danny, what, I have a video of it too. What was the thing that made made you go back at it? Because I know we sometimes you get scared. I'm just away. that type of person, bro. Like you can't, you can shoot me in an area, and I'm still gonna go back to that area. You know, it's yeah. just, it just happens, bro. You can't, 
That, yeah. Nothing you can do about it. I can't even fear it. Like some of my friends who don't ride dirt bikes are like, what? They go like, well, I guess that's Most people would quit, bike, though. No. Most okay. people would quit. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So the, the wife. The wife make you quit. The uh, family make you quit, quit. quit, you know, and it psyched you out. But no, man, I just, I love riding, bro. I never had the opportunity when I was a kid. No. Yeah, it's making fun. Yeah, it's there, dude. Like my kids love doing it. Every time I turn the bike on, they run out to yeah. it. So it's like good stuff. On that hill? Oh, I left it on. Oh, all that hill. Hey, I flip my bike like five. Don't worry about dust or anything. You can mm -hmm. still go fast on that. So. Yeah, if you could see where you're riding. If over. you can see where you're at. <laughs> I don't play with that no more. No. Uh. -uh. I can't see. I'll just wait. The last couple of cross country races I did, it was dusty like that, where you're just going and you're just hoping. Yeah. You're, just, you're just hoping nothing yeah, happens. You don't nothing. Yeah. And that's scary. That's scary. <laughs> yeah. At the Hollister round, I ended up, I was like four feet off the line. I didn't even know it. Because right. the next lap or something, the dust had cleared and I got ahead of a yeah. bunch of people. And I go, heck, I was way over there in the first lap. <laughs> and it was not part of the. Yeah, you had it, no idea. It, it was like, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, but your rear end feels noticeably like uh, flusher too, like more movement, you know what I mean? Okay. But the, hey, that's not a bad thing. Especially for like the stuff we hit today. So the high speed, leave that alone and yeah. just go, go. Yep. And if you, like, you can. Definitely now that I feel the front end, you, I would go in on the compression on the, and just to see what that kind of feel gives you. Because you can always add oil or take oil out too. And that will that'll change how that thing feels. I totally revalved everything, so. Oh, wow. That is yeah, soft. It's, it's coming uh, back pretty quick. Huh? It is, is yeah, it but still, it's pretty plush like, I mean, listen. It depends on what, I think, honestly, when I wrote you, I was like, oh, like yeah. it just yeah, it stuff. just sucks but up. But still front end grip. Yeah. 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 That's nice. And it's probably good going down the other way. Mm -hmm. Like, it's probably eating that stuff up. Right. Because it's not a, such a high-speed area where it doesn't have to be overly. Like I said, so the older I get, the more I go. Like, this is the softest stuff I've ever written on for me to have my own personal stuff all my other stuff like my I have the yeah it's softer than other bikes I've ridden of yours yeah I, yeah I rode your 250 SX man that you had set up for cross country yeah ride. but I like the I motor liked it. was badass and I could yeah. not ride that thing because I yeah. couldn't ride it fast enough to make the suspension work well it was one of those <laughs> that was my mindset where I like I want something that's going to help me if I get a massive G out or you had you me know, riding that, that car and you go here try this thing man. and I was like I didn't ride it very far because I could not stay on the trail. <laughs> it's like, damn. And isn't, isn't it funny too how its suspension is so subjective? Yeah. Everybody likes something different. Yep. You know, there'd be a lot of people that get on stuff, the same stuff, and go, oh yeah, that's plus too bad. But, you know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. people like different setups. Oh. Well, that's how you set up a fast guy. <laughs> I don't know about that, but. Didn't I knew it just always made me feel like if I hit something wrong at speed, it seemed It'll like it saved me. It saved yeah. me. Yeah. It's like, oh, no, I'll, I'll forego that versus the... Uh, That's pretty quickly done. Yeah. I don't know... Are those the so, lucky inserts? Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've ridden with a couple lucky inserts, uh, the, the new carbon mm -hmm. ones. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty it's good. it's a night and day difference. Yeah. Obviously, but this didn't have a suspension. Yeah. Mine's way better, but I got some tuning to do. Uh, yeah, but that's good. typical when you yeah. first re when you redo it. It's typical. It's like a, it's the, the only thing I would say though is, I feel like you're you're way out of balance. Your back to your front, way stiff in the back, super super soft in the front. Mm -hmm. I, it I feels mean, pretty soft riding it in the rear too. That's uh, it feels pretty soft in the rear. But I would put yeah. I would uh, put the 
go back out and ask them to crush it. Because honestly, when I was writing it, it felt super soft and really good. It felt super soft. So is that uh, spring? No, it's valid. It's, it's, it's valid. Okay. It's valid. Well, I'm glad I didn't go with their softest setting. That looks almost perfect. I don't think they need any setting. They, they send it to you regardless of what you want with the medium setting, and they give you a couple of things to stick them in the soft. Okay. Just oh, yeah, they probably give a soft, medium, and all that stuff yeah. for whatever yeah. option. Yeah. 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 But they didn't have the shim in the movie when I broke them. <laughs> if you, yeah. If you ever oh, yeah. need shims, I have shims. <laughs> That's the thing, like, if a guy has time and wants to play the thing, you can play the shit. It's not brain surgery. I tell people, it's not brain surgery. You know? But you do need some material. Shim. But I have, every shim you, you'll ever need, I have. So, if you ever want to mess with it. But they, like I said, they gave you their, the different shims you need to stack stuff. I'll leave my bike here and let it cool off. <laughs>